Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. It's side questing time again. But first, we're going to go um, to Lindblom. You know, if I could find it. Why do I always... Okay, here we go. And I'm going to get uh, something that I don't think I've ever gotten before. Maybe I did at some point in the past, but I don't think I knew about this. Yeah, you know what, just autopilot me there. Because apparently I can't navigate at all. So yeah, apparently, if you land at the castle with the ship, there's an elixir around here that you can get somewhere. That's definitely not an elixir. Wait, do I have to... Uh... Or then go to the bridge, maybe? I... It, there's something we can get around here. Oh, well, you know what? This, um, actually gives us a chance to actually explore the ship anyway. Oh, there it is! Okay. It actually board the ship and then check that to get it. I never knew about that. Or that. At least I would assume that's it. Mm, good question. Yeah, why else did what why else did you think Queena would be hanging out in the engine room? Yeah, not too much to explore on the ship. Okay, now, um, let's, uh, go to Quan's dwelling, because at this point, we can finally, uh, do a thing there that I believe I've mentioned a couple of times. I'm sure I've mentioned there's some kind of scene there that we can get. Well, yeah, this is the point where we can finally actually get it. But I need Vivi and Queena. It's so good to finally have the airship.
Okay. Now let's get in here. Hmm. I wonder if these are going to be Mandragoras. You know what? I think it's time for a little revenge. I mean, this is completely overkill, but, you know? I do want to show off all of Dagger's summons, so... Let's just start with Mega Flare. for earlier in the game. And <laughs> we get barely anything out of it. Okay, let's uh, see what else she can learn right now. Ah, Atomos. We haven't shown Atomos off. You know, actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's, let's get the, her summons out of the way. Oh yeah, we can do the ragtime mouse stuff now too. Like actually, for real. I wouldn't be surprised if we run into him while we're in this forest. I'm, yeah, I think Atomos does damage based on the target's uh, max HP. It works like um, it works like uh, gra uh, gravity spells. Actually, does wait does Final Fantasy IX have that kind of magic? I'm derping. Oh yeah, Demi. Yeah, like Demi. Um, there's Demi, and then there's like uh, Gra Gravira or Graviga. I actually, I, I forget if Final Fantasy IX has that spell, but yeah, they uh, the damage depending on targets HP type spells. That that's what Atomos is basically. Also, yes, if you'll remember, um, Otomos is the Eidolon that Brawn used to devastate Lindablum back on disc two. All right, show off Shiva. You know, I actually don't want to run into Ragtime Mouse right now, so let's just stay out of the forest. Also, in case you're seeing the achievements pop up for summoning these, yeah, I haven't actually summoned them before on the PC version. I didn't summon them like when I played through it the first time, since I don't really use Dagger that much. Because for some reason there's achievements for summoning the Eidolons for the first time. Achieve unlocked. You're cold as ice. Up 
Okay. How many do we have left? We have Ifrit. Ah, oh, yeah, Odin. I think we'll save Odin for last. Okay, just Ifrit and Odin. Yeah, let me, uh... These are all of her summons. Let's let's uh, count them up. This would be a Tomos. Well, actually, nah, I don't... Uh... Not like in order, but let me just fill in the blanks. Like, let's see. Okay, so we got Ifrit, which we haven't summoned yet. Let's think. A Tomos. Bahamut. Shiva. And then... Uh... Whichever one I just equipped. Oh yeah, Ifrit. Uh, oh yeah, Odin. Okay, okay. I I was trying to figure out uh, how many summons I I forgot exactly how many summons Dagger has, but okay. So after Ifrit and Odin, um, there's only one more Dagger summon to show off, but we don't actually have that yet. So that'll have to wait until later. Okay, let's show off Odin now. Of course, we better use an ether. Yep. That is an instant death move. I believe Odin first appeared... I think he first appeared as a summon in Final Fantasy VII. I, I, I don't remember if it was seven or eight. I, I think it was seven. When I think of Odin, though, usually the first Odin that I think of is actually the one from Final Fantasy VIII, which is probably because Final Fantasy VIII was my first Final Fantasy game. And there's, like, a whole side quest to get Odin in that game. Anyway, let's go and see this special scene, finally. Uh, Queen has been with us the whole time. I don't see a feast. What? What? Wait, are we, like, seeing this through Queena's eyes?
Well, this is uh, completely different from what I was expecting. Wait, who was that? Wait, was that was that Quail? your imagination to eat. I wish I could do that. Eat all I want, not get fat. Um, didn't, didn't Quan pass away? Like, I, I just realized that, like, I was thinking that the whole time. I was like, why is he here? Like, I thought Quan passed away. Oh. I was gonna say, he doesn't look like a ghost or a spirit. I guess Zidane needs to learn to use imagination. At least I would assume is what we're trying to get from that scene. Well, that was uh, interesting. This whole time I thought it would just be something about Vivi and Quan and Queena, but that was... Uh... Wow. Well then, we got that out of the way. Let's see, what should we tackle next? Yeah, actually, I know what I want to do next. Let us... Oh, I'm gonna say, let's go back to Trino. Trino's just like right here. And why are we back in Trino? Well, I think we have a few Stelazios we can turn in, don't we?
But the real reason I'm coming back is because we can fight another monster in the weapon shop now, I believe. Also, don't I have a... Wait, did I... Wait, wait a minute. Don't I have a letter? Ah, uh, yeah. I haven't given that letter to Kumul. I, I think he is the, the Inn Moogle at Lindablum. I should have thought to do that earlier. I forgot. And now we fight a death pony. Shouldn't be a problem, as long as it doesn't dodge our attacks. Thankfully you can hit it even when it's flying around. I think one of those was a counter-attack. And down it goes. You know, when I look at that enemy, it really looks like a... I don't know, it looks like an enemy that belongs in Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, huh, got an extra pair of running shoes. Though everybody on the team right now already knows auto haste. Eh, you know, let's drop in on the auction house, see what's for sale. Ah, the thief gloves. I think those cost around 50,000 gil to get. I believe what the thief gloves do, they allow you to steal, um, they, they, they let you steal a boss's rarest item first, like before the other items. Which I guess could be useful if you just want to go for the rarest stuff, but I, I'm not entirely sure how it works, really. Like, I'm not sure if you still have the same, like, terrible odds that the rarest items have. I could have sworn I got this, or maybe I'm just thinking of Oon's Mirror. making it easy. I already have a promised ring, don't I? Oh, yeah, there it is, equipped on Zidane. Okay, we don't need another one of those. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bid, like, 32k. Yeah, I think this is gonna... I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it won't be quite 50,000. Okay, sweet! Promise ring again. Reflect ring, okay. 
Do we have a magician robe? We have the magician cloak. Eh. How much is the robe going for? I don't know if it's worth that, but whatever. <laughs> Just get it. If we want to, we can get money back quickly anyway. Oh, we have a magician robe. Oh, well, that was a waste. Oh, well. Sweet! Okay, so there are... Hmm. Yeah. Not very many Stelazios left to find. up the small stuff. So to end this off, I think we should uh, make a visit to all the Coos Martians. I'm sure some of them haven't uh, haven't regrown the populations too much yet, but I want I want to check all of them. Since we got the airship, it'd be a good time to go around the world and just see how many frogs we can catch right now. Three females there, what's the other one? Oh, that one's... Oh, wait, this is also a female. Oh, they're all females. Whoops. Ah, I'll leave the baby frog alone. It'd probably be really helpful if there was a gold frog in this particular marsh. And we are just about halfway to our goal. The goal is to get 99 frogs, actually, as opposed to 100, so I guess 
technically we're a little over halfway. Come on, frogs. Come on! Okay, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Hopefully the baby frog will grow into a male. If not, well, this marsh is going to take a long time to repopulate, but it may not really matter in the end. Yeah, I think by now, Frog Drop might actually do some considerable damage. I was say, um, where's my ship? <laughs> I doubt there's going to be much activity here, but... Let's go ahead and check anyway. And I would be right. Let's just leave this one alone for now. This is the one that had the gold frog, wasn't it? Or was that the one back on the Mist Continent? I don't know, this is the one with the gold frog. this one and that should be good actually I I'm not sure if the gold frog I think the gold frog has a gender but I don't know if it actually mates or anything I was always thinking the gold frog is basically just like if it's in a marsh it just speeds up the growth rates of like everything else I, I'm just gonna leave it here anyway I mean, now that we have easy access to all four marshes, it doesn't really matter which one has the gold frog. So, let's, with that, let's head back to the Mist Continent Marsh now. Yeah, you may notice the rewards are getting really spaced out at this point. Catch one of the two males here and should be done. It's 
It's always kind of frustrating when you gotta get a specific frog. Okay. So with that, we have 38 frogs left to get. We got a good ways to go. You know, I want to test out Frog Drop's damage now, because I'm curious. Uh, not too good yet. I don't really use Frog Drop that much anyway. thinking if there's anything left for us to do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff left to do. I'm thinking like like little small things, but no, I don't think so. So then, let's head right on back over here and in the episode where we started the episode. I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, in this episode, I really wanted to just wrap up a lot of the small little things we could do, and next time, we're getting back to everybody's favorite minigame! See you, everyone!